everyone. I'm going to show you how to practice Foley insertion at home. I put together a Capri Sun with an overcooked potato with holes cut in it to simulate inserting it into the urethra so that I get urine return. I also put together a simulated tray like the Foley kit that you get. So sterile gloves. I also made a uh, little Foley and bag uh, from two straws and a plastic bag. And then I have lube, a couple of paper towels to simulate a fenestrated drape. I ended up just tearing it halfway so that we can cover our patient and keep privacy. And then a couple of towelettes for cleaning and then a couple, uh, three different q-tips for our iodine solution to clean around the labia so let's go ahead and get started click the link below or visit nursing.com nfn for a free nclex ebook covering the 77 key topics so i will set up my patient with the fenestrated drape and then make sure that you, you know, you can do preliminary care with some peri wipes and of course gloves. Then we'll do hand hygiene, make sure that I've got my hands all nice and clean. And then very first and foremost, we're going to apply sterile gloves. So sterile gloves, you're going to open up the packet and then open up your gloves. Now inside the packet is all sterile and I want that to stay sterile because inside the packet can be a sterile field, an extra sterile field. So a great thing to do is to just make sure that all of these little bits are out of your way so that you're not potentially contaminating. And then grab underneath those corners to open up. And then I like to as well make sure that I've got this whole thing opened up. And now that I know that anything inside this line here on either side is contaminated and not sterile. So I'm going to go ahead and don my gloves. Now you'll want to make sure to don your gloves with your dominant hand first. So I'm going to use my non-dominant hand to grab inside the cuff of the glove that's going to go on my dominant hand. And I'm going to start by applying the glove and get it on as much as you can and then just leave it there. Now you're going to use your dominant hand. Remember, this is all still sterile. You're going to use your dominant hand to grab inside the cuff of the other glove. And then you're going to place your hand inside that hole with your other hand and then making sure that you're not touching anything on the outside of that glove and you're good to go. Now, good enough with these sterile gloves. I'm not going into surgery, but you know, all of this area that I'm going to be using to prep the patient for this Foley insertion is completely sterile. Now, again, I like having this sterile field, so I'm just going to kind of shove that to the side. Now, as you may have known to do, you're going to commit one hand. And I always learned that you're going to commit your non-dominant hand. Now, something that you can do to really make sure that everything's prepared, make sure that you're fully, the tip of it is nice and lubricated before you commit a hand and start touching your patient and cleaning. So I'm going to move the camera just a little bit closer so that you can see. You're going to just get that nice and lubed up, that catheter tip with the lube. Make sure that you're being kind to your patient and applying plenty of lubrication. So that can just kind of sit in the tray and, and be all good to go. Okay, so now we have everything set up, our simulated patient and all of that is all set up. And then I've got my three cleansing towelettes and my three iodine swabs that are ready for me and then the end of my catheter. Now it's really important that even though your gloves are sterile to never touch the tip of the catheter. That's the part that's going into the bladder and you need to have a good enough hold on it so you have control of the tip as you're inserting, but you don't touch the end of the catheter even though we're sterile. We just wanna avoid any and all possible complications or potential for introducing bacteria into the bladder. So we're going to go ahead and start by cleansing our patient uh, right around their labia. So you're going to go inner, inner, 
to outer. And then when you're tossing anything, you don't want to toss it onto your sterile field. You want to toss it in the garbage away from you. And then we'll clean again, making sure that everything is going out and away from our patient's urethra. And then we're going to go back in with our swabs. Now, I have committed this non-dominant hand, and then my dominant hand is going to control the rest of everything. So it's the one that is truly sterile still. So getting again down into and around the meatus with the end of that Q-tip, taking another one, doing the same thing. These are our iodine tipped swabs and make sure to get a good, nice little scrub. We do want to give a teeny bit of friction in order to really scrub that skin. So now I've got my lubricated catheter tip and I'm going to insert it into the urethra. And if I'm in the right spot, I'm going to get return into the catheter bag. So then uh, you might meet just a little bit of resistance and then you're gonna go a little bit more, a little bit more until you kind of hit. And then you're going to retract just a little bit and then you should get return into your Foley bag. So I am, if you can't tell, I am indeed in my bladder, which is the Capri Sun. So I have begun to collect the urine and now this is all nice and sterile. So then you're going to secure the catheter tubing to the patient's leg. There's usually a securement device that you will date to make sure that that gets changed and all of that is cleaned and maintained properly to avoid catheter associated UTIs. And that is how you can practice at home your fully insertion. Happy nursing. Hey guys, Todd from nursing.com here. Let us know what topics you'd like to see videos on in the comments section below and we will review those as we plan new content. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. 